When conducting a hypothesis test, we begin by specifying a null and an alternative hypothesis. Since Kian is our friend, let's start by assuming that he is telling the truth. If he is telling the truth, we'd expect his average IQ score over the four tests to come out to be 130. We call this the null hypothesis. We will assume that Kian's IQ really is 130 until convinced otherwise. We must have some alternative hypothesis in the event that we're not convinced our null is true. Our alternative hypothesis may be that Kian's IQ score is actually less than 130. This here is what we call a one-sided alternative. The alternative hypothesis may also be two-sided, but we'll save a discussion of one-sided versus two-sided alternatives for later. If our sample estimate, the average of the four IQ tests, suggests that our null hypothesis is likely false, then we will have evidence to believe that our alternative hypothesis is likely true. Getting back to our null hypothesis, we didn't just start by assuming this to be true because Kian is our buddy. It's because assuming this to be true, we know exactly what we'd expect to see in our sample. We'd expect that the average IQ score of the four tests should be 130. We can then measure how compatible the actual average score over the four tests is, say an average of 117, with the assumption that it should be 130. If, on the other hand, we wanted to begin by assuming that the alternative were true, we wouldn't have an exact value to compare his average over the four tests to, and we couldn't easily measure how compatible his average of 117 over the four tests is to an assumed IQ of something less than 130. The null hypothesis assumes that the true value is equal to some number. The key is that we start by assuming that our null hypothesis is true, and we will only reject this in favor of the alternative if our estimate is not very compatible with this assumption. We can never prove a null. The null is innocent until proven guilty. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and visit our website.